Hello everyone and welcome to another video from IFTI's Tech Corner. Today we're going to be looking at the 2012 iPod Nano which has only just been released by Apple. It's the seventh generation and uh, as we can see it's sporting a new design here so let's get stuck in and take a look. Right so as we can see it comes in a standard packed box here. They come in the 16 gig version. I've got the blue here so let's get stuck in open this up. Um, we can see it's sporting a brand new design uh, which looks quite nice and opens up nicely there. It's in a nice little clip here so we remove the clip. There's the actual iPod itself. We'll come to that in just a second and inside here all we we'll receive is, another, is a small quick user guide, your AirPod headphones, and a lightning cable. There's nothing else in the box there, so it's just the, yep, there's nothing else in there. So that's all we receive. It's nice that we receive these. Bear in mind, these are different to the ones you would receive with the iPhone 5, for example. They don't have the microphone built in. So they have inline uh, volume controls, but no microphone. And we'll talk about that uh, later on in this video, because there is an app on the iPod that uh, we can't use because of the headphones, the, the AirPods that they've uh, included in the package. So if we put that to one side, here's the actual iPod itself. It's nice and thin. If we can take this apart, we can remove the iPod. It's a very nice little design there. So here's the iPod itself, very small. Uh, let's just take this off. There we go. Very nice, small design. I do prefer this to the the previous design. To be honest, it's more of a it's more of a mini iPod Touch uh, with the home button at the bottom here. So it's very small. It'll fit in your pocket nice and easily. It's clipless, so there's no more clip on the rear. But um, I'm sure there will be many other third-party cases and so on released that will have clips on the back. Now the screen itself is obviously bigger than the 6th generation, the previous generation iPod Nano. The previous generation had a screen size that was 240 by 240. We now have a screen size of 240 by 432 and it's more a, a, a wide screen. So it's a proper 16 by 9 display. Now the actual screen itself is down on pixel density but it makes a slightly better video player when you're viewing back widescreen movies or video clips through this it'll be a much nicer experience overall. So what we'll do we'll switch this unit on. There we go so we get the nice Apple logo there and we'll select English UK done and there we go. So there's our icons there. Now the screen itself is brighter. However, the viewing angles are not as good. So if I move it slightly to the side there, we can see the viewing angle isn't as good um, as it would be on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Now looking around the outside of the unit at the bottom, we can see the lightning connector there, as well as your headphone port. On the side here, we've got a volume rocker and we've also got a button in in between the volume rocker that's why the the volume up and down are quite spaced apart so there's another button there we'll come to that shortly at the top we've got the standard power button nothing on the other side and the back is clear obviously you can have these in different colors we've got the blue one here now this section here is for your bluetooth antenna it does have bluetooth built in as well as the lightning port which is good and bad in a way we've discussed that with the iphone 5 but the lightning port, it's good in a sense that it's nice and small. It can create some smaller designs. However, it's bad when it comes to accessories because you need to find compatible accessories or purchase the actual lightning to 30 pin adapter. Now the unit does also have Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth 4, so the newest iteration of Bluetooth and the actual Bluetooth antenna is in this plastic part here. So that's for the actual Bluetooth antenna. Now this three-way volume is volume up and volume down. The button in the middle can be used to play, stop, uh, shuffle songs and so on. So there is a button in the middle there that we can press to play and stop tunes and so on. And we've got the home button here. So it makes it very much like an iPod touch with the actual home button there. It's the only button on the unit. Again, that's new. 
um, the previous iterations didn't have a home button or they had the click wheel so it's nice to have that home button there no camera on the back which is one downside I mean it's, it's a nicer screen so we can view 16 by 9 video we can view photos which have pinch to zoom and so on so a nice a few nice features there but we've got no camera on the back which is a, a slight downer but for the type of users this is aimed towards you probably wouldn't need the camera anyway now looking at the software it's a bit more like iOS but obviously not full iOS um, we've got two screens here when we attach some headphones to this that do have the actual mic port so the headphones that we receive in the actual box only have volume controls they do not have a microphone if we use another pair of headphones with a microphone built in just like you would get with the iPhone 5 for example you do get another note taking app so you get a voice memos app uh, and that will pop up once you insert headphones that have a microphone other than that we have everything in music is rolled into music we've got videos is making a comeback that wasn't on the sixth generation ipod nano so that's made a comeback and viewing videos on this size screen it's it's quite nice for when you're out and about we've got podcasts uh, radio and photos photos do have pinch to zoom and so on they look very nice on the screen so it's a very nice feature to have there we've also got Nike Plus now Nike Plus has all of the sensors now built in so the iPod Nano has the actual sensors built in you don't need to buy your separate sense sensors for your uh, footwear and so on you can because of the Bluetooth connectivity you can attach um, additional heart rate monitors and so on to use alongside Nike Plus but uh, Nike Plus itself does have all of the sensors built in so we don't need to purchase any extra sensors anymore other than that we have all the other standard features accelerometer and so on so when you're viewing photos we can view them in landscape or portrait simply by turning it in the correct orientation um, overall a very nice design and very nice bright screen although the the only downside of the screen is if i turn it slightly there you can see that uh, the actual viewing angles aren't as good but for the type of user this is aimed for makes a nice little device now a quick note in regards to sound quality I've, I've tested another I've got another unit uh, which I've opened a day or two ago and I've been testing and the, I've noticed that the music quality is very similar if not exactly the same as you would get from the iPhone or the iPod touch I can't really notice any obvious differences whatsoever so you get very good uh, music quality both with the attached AirPods and with any other headset you're, you're looking at around the same quality as the iPod touch so the the actual size and the form factor of this hasn't uh, reduced any of that quality whatsoever here's a size comparison here now I've got an iPhone 5 as we can see here we've unboxed and had a look at this in a previous video so if we put the iPod touch on top of it iPod Nano sorry on top of it there we can see a, a quick size comparison much smaller than the iPhone 5 much more pocket friendly as it were so it's nice and slim as we can see there that's a quick size comparison with the actual uh, iPhone 5 itself so for some final words the overall design is very nice I really like this design I do prefer this design over the previous um, square shaped 6th generation iPod Nano it doesn't have the clip but I'm sure there will be cases that and armbands and so on that we can put on to uh, give us that clip functionality back overall it's a very nice design I, I like the screen I like the size of the screen is very nice this is more I feel aimed towards gym users runners people who like to stay active so you've got the Nike Plus built right in there with the sensors in which is perfect for runners um, people who like to use a gym, people who like to keep active and want a little device just to slip into their pocket this is perfect for them bear in mind the software although it's iOS it's not the full iOS so you still have to sync this to get your music on there's no iCloud support, there's no iCloud backup there's no Wi-Fi connectivity or any other feature like that so it's still a basic iPod whether Apple are still living in the ages with this uh, iPod Nano I mean the design is very nice the design is futuristic but the software side itself it's still rather old in the sense that you still have to synchronize this 
with your computer with an instance of iTunes to get your content on there. There's no Wi-Fi or there's no iTunes store or app store. Or the, there's no other apps you can actually put into onto this and so on. So that's a slight downside. Overall, it's a very nice design. So if you're looking for something light, elegant, this is definitely the way to go. They start at the 16 gigs. So this is a 16 gig here. Uh, around $149, which is in pounds, I think it was about 120 odd pounds or 115 pounds from Apple themselves. Very nice unit overall. Again, if you've got the purpose for it, if you're a runner or you like to keep active, this is brilliant. If not, I'd probably recommend going for the actual iPod Touch, although that costs uh, quite a bit more. So there we go. That's the iPod Nano by Apple, the 2012 seventh generation. So what do you think of the new iPod Nano? Leave a comment below and remember to subscribe to Ifdi's Tech Corner.